This video is brought to you by Dashlane, but more on that later. Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. I have had a, a bit, a smidge, a, 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 a smoddle of a relationship with Malazan Book of the Fallen. I've gotten through the first three before and then stopped the series because I realized if I was going to get to the end, it was going to take up an amazing amount of time. And I was at a point in the channel where I felt like it was more important for me to get more shorter series under my belt rather than plow all the way through to the end of Malazan, Book of the Fallen. Well, I am very happy to say here today that I have taken an oath a solid oath to push all the way through to the end of Steve Erickson's masterpiece and review every single entry. Yes, that's including the one-off offshoots. I'm doing it. It'll take me probably over a year, but I'm doing it because I got to read a lot of other books too. This can't just be on Malazan channel. That would, that would be bad for my channel. Although I will say, as I am for Wheel of Time, Malazan does not have a comparable channel I have found on the platform. So if anyone out there is looking to make their debut on YouTube, I would recommend becoming a Malazan tuber because there is a need for it. And if you're really well versed in the series, I think you could have a good breakout here. But quickly a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Dashlane. Dashlane makes the slow, annoying, or frustrating parts of using the internet faster and easier. Dashlane saves and autofills all your password and logging information on every website, so you never have to click forgot password again. Dashlane saves and autofills your credit card information so you can check out online and click without having to search for your wallet ever again. The question gets asked, what if Dashlane gets hacked? Well, that's a great question. Wouldn't all your information be in one place? Actually, no. By putting all your personal information and passwords in Dashlane, you're actually much safer. Dashlane stores and decrypts all your information locally on your device with your master password. So even if someone did hack Dashlane, it would be like breaking into a bank and not being able to open any of the vaults because not even Dashlane has the keys. Only you have the key to your vault. So unless you're going around publishing your master password, your information is safe in Dashlane. Dashlane also offers dark web monitoring, which allows you to receive alerts if your personal information is found on the dark web, where it may be available to spammers and hackers. And with my background coming from software development, my largest concern is online privacy. And with Dashlane's built-in VPN with country selection means you can access what you want wherever you want. Use the link in the description to go ahead and sign up for a free 30-day premium trial and use the coupon code down there as well to get 10% off a premium Dashlane subscription. Is that, is that better lighting? What did I think of Gardens of the Moon? Obviously, I'm going to be kicking a dead horse here, but Steven Erickson's truly epic story kicks off with a bang. You were introduced to a whole lot of characters in a very complex political empire moving situation with high stakes and a lot to say. Malazan pretty much packs a punch right out the gate on every single level for a fantasy story. I'm talking magic systems, characters, lore, histories, everything's there. Everything to a floating city. It's fantastical as all. And it's done really well. I was curious, so I looked up some of the original reviews for Gardens of the Moon when it first came out, and they were surprisingly mixed. I was expecting pretty much overwhelming praise, but some people seemed off-put by the sheer scope of things that were being attempted. Obviously, now that we're further along the ride, pretty much everyone seems to be at least respecting what Steven Erickson did here. But I can at least appreciate the initial skepticism, because coming into this, if I didn't know this series was finished, if I just picked up Gardens of the Moon cold one day, I would be skeptical. To me, it would seem like an author biting off more than they could possibly chew. And I'm not at the end. I'm actually not 100% sure it will be cathartic for me. I'm not sure if I will be satisfied. But what I can say is Gardens of the Moon is a great start point if everything I've heard about Malazan does turn out to be true. Now, I'm going to add about 20 asterisks to that because I don't recommend Malazan for everybody. This is for epic fantasy fans only. Anyone who the biggest scale they could ever see themselves reading for fantasy is like Mistborn should not try to even attempt to read Gardens of the Moon. And that's not meant to be condescending or putting down in any way. It just will not be your flavor of ice cream. Basically, like if Mistborn is one of those big cones you get at like an ice cream vendor, I'm going with the ice cream metaphor here. Malazan Book of the Fallen is someone taking a 
fire hose full of ice cream and just going full blast down your throat because it is everything someone who likes that just huge scale could possibly want. I don't think anyone could complain in that matter, and it's done very well. But I just want to make it really clear to the people who are saying Malazan is for everybody and don't really check to see who they're recommending it to before saying that, you're wrong. And I think that comes down to an interesting thing not a whole lot of people understand about recommending books, and that's that quality does not always equal a good match for the reader. Like, I very much so acknowledge the fact that Dune is a very good book. But it's not for me, I just didn't enjoy it, because it's not my taste. And I specifically bring up Dune for a reason, transitioning into my next kind of point with Malazan. It's written very well, and you have well-established, personality-filled characters. Saurian and Amanda Rake stand out the most to me, as well as Whiskey Jack, duh. But when it comes to these characters, I never feel like I was getting as intimate with them as you do with a lot of modern fantasy. A lot of modern fantasy is heavily geared towards having the reader really sit in that character's head as deeply as possible, get to know them uh, on that level, and Malazan is not. It's much more like Dune, where there seems to be a level of separation kept and maintained, so every character still feels a bit mysterious, you don't quite understand them or know them as well. And maybe as the series goes on, I will feel that way, but in terms of first book comparison to first book, I did not feel like I was introduced to these characters as thoroughly as most modern fantasy does. I'm really looking forward to getting a deeper relationship going with Malazan here, because this first date I had with Gardens of the Moon was intriguing. I'm not going to say it was the most passionate adventure I've ever been on with a story, but I'm definitely going to come back for number two. And I remember how number two goes. We basically kick off and follow completely separate characters in a whole other land, and I'm down for that. Now, touching on Steven Erickson's writing style, I've obviously already covered it a little bit with that whole disjointed character spiel. That's the way he's going to go, but he is also a fan of exposition. You're going to learn a lot about this world, and that obviously attributes to the first point as well. So for those of you who found found Robert Jordan to be tedious due to his exposition dumps, something I personally enjoy, you also might not like Malazan, though I did enjoy this aspect of the series. This empire and continent that we are introduced to is fascinating, and as someone who will read a history textbook for fun, this is just candy for me. I would say Steven Erickson's tactful and artful delivery of histories is what really propelled me through Gardens of the Moon. My biggest complaint, though, for Steven Erickson is definitely going to be every character is just gruff and badass and intense and just trying to be as, like, macho as possible. I really wanted occasionally just to step back and have some kind of just, hey, everything's gonna be okay moments. This is a very uh, one-tone story so far. It's darker. I would not go as far as to say it's grim dark, but it's on the darker end of fantasy. And again, this is personal preference. I really like to have that step back. Okay, let's just have some enjoyable, lighthearted times with these characters. And I think that's kind of where my issue with the disjointedness and the like distance that felt like it was maintained here for me as a reader comes from. This, this story kind of just goes down this singular tone. Uh, think of a triangle being rung in like music class and then just let to ring out. I have a very strong suspicion though this will not be maintained for the rest of the whole Malazan series. It feels like, and if I remember correctly, I'm going to encounter, while there was some comedic moments here and there, I feel like we're going to relax a little and I'll be able to fully enjoy Steven Erickson's work as he feels more comfortable exploring different tones, just not having this bull rush of just serious military setting uh, vibes till the very end. So overall for Malazan Book of the Fallen, objectively pretty much up there with the greats. Uh, Gardens of the Moon does a fantastic job of everything it sets out to do, but what it sets out to do is not going to be a mass appeal. Not everyone likes this scale of fantasy, which really was my biggest takeaway here once again from Gardens of the Moon. My enjoyment level here was pretty high. I never felt the need to put it down, but it certainly was not on the level of a lighter hearted, more diverse in tone, get to know the characters a little bit better right away, fantasy story. Story. And that's oddly like enticing me to go deeper in as well. Like I want to know more. I want to learn more about this world and get to know these characters better uh, once they're not always just 
fighting for their lives. <laughs> I'm exaggerating a bit, but not by that much. Anyway, that is my review of Gardens of the Moon by Steven Erickson. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below, because I think this will be a bit of a polarizing review. In my experience, Malazan fans are die hard, uh, except for the watching. No, if I remember correctly, my last review, when I had some complaints, people were like, yeah, that's that's fair. But I have also seen you guys go off on people on Reddit, so I'm hoping you're a little understanding here. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And I believe Elliot Brooks, uh, coincidentally, was also reading through this story as well. And I'll link her review if it's out now in the description down below if you'd like to see her take on Gardens of the Moon. Have a good one, y'all. Peace. And of course, I'd like to record a special shout out to my latest high tier Patreon, Daniel McGinnis. Thank you so much, Daniel. I appreciate you.